Hi Academy Answers, welcome to another episode of the Academy Answers podcast where we discuss the questions from social media, from our blog, from the work we do in the personal development and personal finance and business space. Becoming your better self, becoming your best self, reaching your full potential, believing that you do not have to settle and you were created to do something awesome. And it is through the process of pursuing that greatness that is in you. You're not trying to cultivate it. It's already in you. You're just trying to develop it and bring it out to the world that you get to live your best life. You get to be happy. You get to serve and you get to believe that your life uh, here on earth is for purpose. And it's funny how things work. I was just having a conversation with my wife. Uh, Well, a couple of days, first thing, uh, we were... I used to be in the automotive business, so she have a friend who who is trying to get a car. So the, the, the person who is selling her the car is sending her pictures and we were talking about the car. So it was this particular brand of car that I wasn't happy with, with her getting. So I was kind of you know telling her the downsides of it based on my knowledge. I've been in the automotive business for maybe six, between six to eight years. And I've had, you know, quite a bit of experience in cars and brands of cars and how well they do. So I was saying to her that, no, you know, these cars, somehow they don't, they never did catch on as a um, economy class. You don't see much of them around. And then she, you know, didn't take that one. But then just a day after I drove down the road and there was one of the cars parked in a place. I haven't seen those cars. I can hardly remember if I've seen the car any time in the past two or three years. Um, and then I drove out the, the house, go down the road, and there's a car, the car parked in, in this um, shopping complex. And I'm like, wow, I bet these cars are wrong. But you know the reticular activating system, that part of the brain that heightened the awareness once you open up that thought. So it was this morning that I was talking, last night I was talking to my mom about the story of how people are different and what separates people um, in terms of how they move from one level of life to the next level, how they change their lives. And it was the same just after having the conversation and telling her the story of what separates people. um, um, I got this question uh, about what is the major difference between people who are successful and who are not successful people who come from humble beginnings people who come from bad situations and make turn it around like you hear of people who have had horrible illnesses and managed to defy the odds and as telling our story to kind of put together the difference between the two types of people who actually get to break patterns and who actually get to go against their own norms and go against the societal norms and their immediate environmental norms and whatever physical challenges they they have had as telling her the difference and the difference i was trying to use a story to illustrate there was this uh, mentally ill gentleman who we grew up with. He was in the community. He always just walked into anybody's house. It was a rural area, Kingston in Jamaica, St. Anne, Jamaica. A book, I almost say Kingston. I was born in Kingston. I was born in a book of St. Anne, this rural area. That's about maybe 10 miles from 9 miles where Bob Marley was born. I use that because it's probably a reference. People know Bob Marley more around the world than, than anything else when you say Jamaica. So, I, he used to just walk into the, to the yard and he was always talking about the big city. He was talking about big city for us was Kingston, it's the capital of Jamaica. So he was always talking about Kingston and he was saying, I, where, he, he would come into the house, into the yard and he would say, how do I get to Kingston? What bus should I take? How do I find my sister in Kingston? Um, who, who should I ask when I come off at this stop? He was of unsound mind, but it was a, you know, he was, he fluctuated in terms of his condition, his, his cognitive abilities, um, his, his stableness. He would be good today, for good for a couple of months, and then another time he'd be totally off. You know how these mental illnesses work. So he was there one day, I was in the yard, it was Saturday morning, um, just had breakfast, 
everybody was there kind of getting themselves together to see what they're going to do for the day. So grandma was in the kitchen. I was sitting just outside the kitchen and um, the guy came, walked up and was just talking, 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 talking. And I was a little bit fed up and frustrated. I was like, shut up, um, whatever, forget it. You're not going to ever get to Kingston. You're not going to go. Every day you're talking about Kingston. How will you ever get to Kingston? Uh, not in his earshot. That's when I went into the kitchen and said, said that to grandma. Grandma said, no, don't say that. I'm like, why? Who's going to take him to Kingston? Why, 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 how will he get to Kingston? He, he don't even have his sanity. And she said, do you notice that he didn't come here telling you he's going to go to Kingston tomorrow. He's going to take this bus. He's going to find his sister in Kingston. He wants to be in Kingston. He didn't say that. He came here asking questions. And that's the magic. That is the magic that separates people. Asking questions suggests that you are willing to explore possibilities and options that you don't know to take you to wherever you want to go to do whatever you want to do. Asking questions is the hallmark of learning. It's a foundation of learning. Questioning something. So the, the difference, the separator is some people who never move from one level of life, some people who never change, some people who are steeped into failure, some people who stay stuck, and like the majority of people who I probably um, would be in my audience who settle, who get to a certain level and settle, is that they, they, they assume something over their lives. They stay in a point or at a position that they ended up at. And they never ask, how do I get to the next level? How do I solve this? It is a person who wants to find solution when they are, for example, buying a car, since I spoke about car already. And they are in between minds for days, wondering, this is the right car to do, not sure about this car. When 1,000, 100,000 people, <coughs> excuse me, have gone through this, have documented it, and all you needed to do is type it in a YouTube toolbar or type research bar, type it in a Google search bar, read 17, 50, 25 different blogs and see which one resonates with the position you're in and learn. Because everything that we are trying to figure out, someone figured it out already and have documented it. So the separator is people want a certain result that they don't have and instead of making excuses instead of settling they ask questions and embark on a process of learning and finding out getting the answers another set of people either decide that i just don't eat in the mornings my family are big boned i've always been fat I am not a business person. I don't know how to do accounting. I'm not comfortable with money. I don't know how to, 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 to start a company. And they stop. They say that this is a reason why they cannot reach to this level. Another group of people say, I don't know how to do this, but where can I find the information? And I trust myself enough to learn once I've been exposed to the information. And that's what separates people. So the guy who is asking a question to himself about getting to the next level, getting to a goal, is the guy who will get to that goal because he's willing to defy the odds, to move beyond his current knowledge and situation by asking, how is it that I can get to the next level? And that is what separates most people. And I, it's a very good question. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that I ran into this question from, from someone here on Facebook that I think Brendan Bush had always put it, put it this way. He said that the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is that successful people see a, res, a, a result that they want, see a goal that they want to reach, see a level that they want to get to and admit that, hey, I don't have what it takes, the skill sets, the know-how to get to this level. Who knows 
And how can I learn to do it? <coughs> Unsuccessful people says, says, I don't have the skill sets. I don't know how to do that. I guess this is not for me. I'll never do that stuff. I can, 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 I can never do that stuff. So it is a matter of your mindset when it comes on to learn. So um, Carl Deswick in her book call it the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. So that is what it is. It boils down to some people have a fixed mindset and some people have a growth mindset. Growth mindset asks questions and believe in their own abilities to develop the skills to get to the next level. And the fixed mindset don't ask any questions. They don't believe in their own capabilities to do it. Thank you for listening. Always a pleasure. Have a good day, guys. You can find me anywhere, Low Motivator Car. If you have your question, leave it there for me on Facebook, on Instagram, Low Motivator Car. Always a pleasure, guys. Thanks.